Hi, my name is Leah. I'm here with Victoria and my co-founder Pascal, and we are Ava, set out to revolutionize women's health. I'd like you to meet Emily. The pointer doesn't work. Pointer. It's gonna go far. I'd like you to meet Emily. I've met Emily and Sean here in San Francisco. They're trying to have a baby. Initially, planning for a baby was all fun and excitement. Baby names, possible pregnancy ideas. But already after a couple of months, this excitement turned into anxiety. Every month, the trying, the waiting, the nervousness before she takes the test, and finally the frustration if it doesn't happen again. And of course, Emily knows that, 80%, Emily knows that timing is critical to get pregnant. 80% of pregnancies happen within the same two cycle days. And Emily has tried everything out there to find out about her fertile window. She's taken her temperature in the morning. She has peed on a stick 10 times per month. She downloaded various apps. And she even stuck a temperature sensor under her arm. But all in all, the existing solutions for Emily to find out about her fertile window are either inconvenient, they're imprecise, or they're completely outdated. And Emily and Sean are not alone in this. Today, one third of couples have trouble conceiving. Among those, also several of our team members. We with Ava have decided to help the Emilys and Seans out there. We have developed the Ava bracelet, a sensor bracelet that Emily can wear during the night and which tells her exactly where she is in her cycle and when her next fertile, will, fertile window will be. Now, during the night, this bracelet picks up various um, physiological parameters and over three million data points. And all Emily has to do in the morning is to synchronize the bracelet with her phone. Let's see it. Let's switch to the demo. Now, Emily's been wearing our bracelet for a couple of weeks. In the morning, she goes on and syncs it with her phone, and she gets to the fertility information. This line shows her how likely she is to conceive on a given day. And not only that, Ava precisely predicts her next fertile window. So Emily learns it's Tuesday today, and she's on her first peak fertility day. So today is a good day for her to try. And Emily's a curious person, so she also wants to access the rest of her information. Ava shows her different data charts. Here, for example, sleep and how those parameters change over the course of her cycle. The and oh, what's that? A message from her husband, Sean. Apparently, Emily shared her data with him so they can both plan together and spend a nice romantic dinner tonight. And then tonight, well, Emily might press this button. So, could you switch back to the presentation, please? Back to the presentation. In the last 12 years, I've built up two wearable companies in the healthcare space and realized what impact wearables can have on people's lives. So, two years ago, we built a team of scientists from different disciplines and started to analyze exactly the menstrual cycle. So, of course, the hormones that you see on the slide have impact on, on, on the temperature, but we found a lot of exciting other stuff that is actually changing through the menstrual cycle. So there is effect on cardiovascular parameters, respiratory, neurological, behavioral, dermatological stuff. And what we have built on this basis is a completely new way to predict fertile days during the menstrual cycle. And what is great, uh, our approach works and has been confirmed in a clinical study. So one year ago, we started with the University Hospital of Zurich in Switzerland, um, the clinical test. And relatively quickly, we got better than the calendar method, which is used by the fertility apps. And in June of this year, we had a big milestone as we got better than the temperature method. And we are now getting better and better through due to different things. We get better and better hardware. We understand artifacts such as alcohol better and better. And we have more and more data to actually optimize our algorithms.
So in context with the clinical study, we have now raised more than 5 billion data points, and all that is reference to hormonal measurements. This is the biggest such database that exists in the world now. So based on our patented technology, we'll first focus on the conceiving market to support couples to get pregnant. Um, but the same technology and data can be used to detect various pathologies during pregnancy. And over time, we want to establish a non-hormonal alternative for contraception. The bracelet will cost $249, and there is a, month, a $5 monthly service fee. Um, the product, the bracelet, will be sold online, and we are now exploring partnerships with U.S. corporations to rapidly scale. Now, today is a very special day for us, because today we are launching. And as a thank you to all of you, we have a special TechCrunch discount, TC 2015, with which you will get the bracelet at $50, $70 off on avawomen.com. Thank you, all of you, for supporting us in finally bringing women's health to the 21st century and in helping all the Emilys and Sean's out there realizing their dream of having a family. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Great presentation.